alligator snapping turtle snaps watermelon in one bite. Did you like turtles? Did you know that not all of them are small and cute? Some are real killers, with jaws capable of tearing apart a watermelon or pineapple in one bite. It's worth a look. In this episode, you'll see the world's most dangerous, strongest, and largest turtles and learn about other unusual reptiles. Let's go! Watermelon I don't think you've ever seen anything like it. Here, the alligator snapping turtle is literally smashing the watermelon with its jaws. Look, just one clench and the crust breaks easily. That's really powerful. I can see why this man gives the turtle this watermelon on a stick. Just imagine what could happen to his hand. Corn And here they decided to treat the turtle with corn. Would it appreciate it? First, the man teases the reptile. Of course, the turtle is already in a fighting position. Its mouth is wide open. Then the man lifts it up and in a couple of seconds, the corn is just as broken. Pineapple The next treat is an exotic fruit. Look how sharply the turtle bit off an impressive portion of the pineapple. Now let's remember that it's a pretty tough fruit. All in all, the turtle squeezed the juice very well. Alligator Snapping Turtle The alligator snapping turtle you just saw is a species of turtle living in rivers, ponds, and canals in the southeastern United States. Mainly it lives in the Mississippi Basin. We'll only look at it through a screen, but maybe that's for the best. The alligator snapping turtle is similar in appearance to the common snapping turtle. I'll talk about it later. The alligator snapping turtle received its name because of the extremely powerful jaw and protrusions on the carapace, which resemble a rough, ribbed skin of an alligator. It's just as aggressive. In fact, even its weight is impressive. The weight of an adult can reach up to 60 kilograms. In general, if this is the first time you see this turtle in person, you may be left under a strong impression. Because we're used to thinking that turtles are slow, cute, and even very harmless. But this creature looks more like some kind of dinosaur that somehow survived to this day. And again, let's get back to the main question. What do these beauties eat? In addition to watermelons, corn, and pineapples, which alligator snapping turtles eat in no time, they also eat fish. They have an interesting way of hunting. These reptiles have a worm-like appendage on the tip of their bright pink tongue. This is how the alligator snapping turtle lures its prey. It camouflages itself in the algae or half burrows in the silt and opens its mouth wide. Next, the alligator snapping turtle lies motionless in an ambush and baits its prey. When the prey approaches the so-called worm, the turtle's mouth instantly closes. As a rule, this kind of bait attracts fish, invertebrates, and amphibians. It happens that snakes and other turtles are also caught on this hook. Common Snapping Turtle with its powerful and strong jaw, the common snapping turtle can easily bite into small bones, including human bones. I wouldn't want to experience its fierce temper. These turtles are quite formidable and terrifying even in their appearance. The huge head with bulging eyes, large mouth, and sharp jaws and powerful clawed paws inspire real fear. The average length of the shell of the common snapping turtle is up to 35 centimeters and weight is up to 14 kilograms but sometimes it's more. The common snapping turtle is common in southeastern Canada and the United States. It lives in a wide variety of bodies of water, rivers, ponds, lakes. The main thing is the bottom to be muddy enough so the turtle can easily burrow into it. It feeds on live and dead fish, small animals up to waterfowl, carrion, and aquatic vegetation. Leatherback Sea Turtle The leatherback sea turtle, or the loot turtle, is a unique creature of nature. First, it's one of the largest reptiles in the world, and second, it's the largest turtle on the planet. The largest measured individual had a total body length of 2.6 meters, a four-flipper span of 2.5 meters, and a weight of 916 kilograms. That's just an incredible size for a turtle. The leatherback sea turtle is so-called for obvious reasons. It can easily be differentiated from other modern sea turtles by its lack of a bony shell. Instead, its carapace is covered by oily flesh and flexible, leather-like skin. The turtle's limbs are perfectly adapted to its underwater lifestyle. Among modern turtle species, its fins are the largest in relation to the overall body proportions. Leatherback sea turtles are good divers and are also considered one of the fastest reptiles. Leatherback sea turtles can swim at speeds of up to 35 kilometers per hour. Leatherback sea turtles eat jellyfish, 
crustaceans, as well as some algae. The reptile's habitat is very large. They live in all oceans except for the polar regions. Although these creatures seem quite gentle, it's better not to disturb them. Otherwise, they can bite so hard that they break bones. Such a monster is definitely not to be messed with. Mata Mata The Mata Mata is the owner of a bizarre and peculiar appearance. It's difficult to confuse it with other species. Its long horn, which adorns the end of its snout, is a sight to behold. It's found in South America, in the basins of the Orinoco and Amazon rivers. This large turtle can reach 40 centimeters in length, and its weight can be up to 15 kilograms. It's also a true queen of camouflage. The original shape of the head with peculiar leathery tubercles on the sides and impressively long neck with rows of skin outgrowths are an excellent camouflage for the animal in its natural habitat. The Matamata -mata spends most of its life in the water. It can be found only in bodies of standing water, ponds, lakes with muddy bottoms, or slow rivers. The Matamata -mata must camouflage itself if it wants to have a good meal. Its swimming speed is slow, so it has to sit frozen in one pose and wait for a curious fish or frogs to swim closer. At the right moment, the Matamata -mata opens its mouth wide and sharply draws in the water together with the victim. Thus, the prey is swallowed whole, the mouth slams shut, and the water inside is released back through the slightly open mouth. As you can see, turtles can be extremely dangerous and incredibly large. The world of reptiles is very interesting in general. Lizards, for example, are not necessarily miniature creatures with long tails. There are some real giants among them. Stay tuned to see the planet's largest and most unusual lizards that will shock you. Komodo Dragon For centuries, there have been legends about dragons around the world, but strangely enough, dragons do exist. Surprised? In fact, they do not exist in the way you've already imagined. However, these monsters from Indonesia are quite fit for dragons. They're so-called Komodo dragons. These dragons are the largest lizards in the world. The reptile can weigh more than 160 kilograms and have a body length of over 3 meters. Komodo dragons were unknown to Western scientists until 1910. Their name came from rumors of a large, dragon-like lizard terrorizing the Indonesian islands. The creatures, new to Europeans, surprised scientists, the owners of a stocky and squat body with a flattened head and rather short and widely spaced limbs, appeared before them. Their tongues are yellow and bifurcated, which is quite consistent with their draconian name. It's precisely how they help them search for potential prey. They use this organ to taste the air, and then they stick the two tips of their tongues into the palate of their mouths. Chemical smell analyzers recognize molecules present in the air. For example, if the concentration on the left side of the tip of the tongue is higher than on the right, the Komodo dragon already knows that prey is approaching from the left. They eat every last bit of it, including hooves, horns, skin, and bones. Quite often, livestock, cats and dogs have come to the reservoirs to drink or accidentally met on the way of these dangerous lizards get into the teeth of adult Komodo dragons. It so happened that the Komodo dragon also attacked people, times it ended badly. They attack from ambush. They have small but very dangerous venomous glands. The Komodo dragon's bite is much weaker than that of the crocodile, but their victim soon dies from blood loss caused by the powerful venom that prevents blood clotting. Parenty The parenty, like the Komodo dragon, is capable of surprising with its size. Some individuals of this species reach up to 2.5 meters in length. The parenty inhabits arid regions of Australia and feeds on other reptiles, small mammals, insects, birds, and their eggs and carrion. The largest of parentees prey on young kangaroos and solitary dingoes. The parenty is one of the fastest and toughest lizards. If necessary, an adult can reach speeds of up to 40 kilometers per hour. The parenty can run on either four or two hind legs. Asian Water Monitor the habitat of the Asian water monitor covers a large part of Southeast Asia and part of South Asia. It's a semi-aquatic animal that spends most of its time in water. The Asian water monitor is good at swimming and diving. These reptiles can eat anything they can catch. The list includes all kinds of mammals, for example, rodents, small deer, or monkeys. They also eat mollusks, frogs, turtles, lizards, baby crocodiles, and birds. In the absence of live prey, they eat carrion. Sensing danger, the Asian water monitor can also be dangerous to humans. Injuries caused by these lizards, according to some reports, have caused human deaths. That's all, guys. Which reptile impressed you the most? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and see you later.